Welcome. You're listening to John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online. This is a training video for commercial real estate brokers and agents around the world. We put out many videos like this to help those brokers and agents with the challenges of the market today when it comes to sales, leasing or property management, and certainly with office, industrial and retail property. That being said, if you haven't checked out the website, you can do so at commercial-realestate-training.com. So let's go back to the topic and most particularly getting to a yes answer in pitching and presenting for a property listing today. Certainly in commercial real estate brokerage, your listing pitch or presentation is likely to strike a few barriers before you get close to an agreement with the client or the prospect. The client themselves are likely to give you a few challenges before the point of decision is reached. They are testing you to see if you qualify in their estimation of experience and skill. If you pass the test, they will move ahead. If you fail the test, they'll move on to find someone else. And it's quite likely the case that there are many competitors in your market who will snap up that listing given half a chance. Number two, it really doesn't matter what your commission rate is or your marketing costs are for that property. The ultimate point of decision is driven from your relevance and your experience. The client doesn't want to be a marketing experiment. You need to qualify in every respect when it comes to being relevant and being experienced for that property challenge. Number three, the client or the prospect wants to see the things that will give them the confidence to use you as your brokerage in selling or leasing the property. Now selling and leasing is quite, they are both quite specific and special tasks for today's market. That being said, it's very difficult to win a listing or a deal from a generic position. So don't be generic in any way. Number four, an ordinary pitch or presentation generally doesn't get a positive result. At the very best, an ordinary pitch will convert to an open listing, and that is about all you will get. An open listing is perhaps satisfactory for you. However, you cannot control your market or the client in that way. Top agents don't chase open listings. It's a bit like ambulance chasing. It gets you nowhere. Number five, so preparation is the key to converting more exclusive listings and clients to your brokerage and that conversion will occur at the sales pitch or the listing presentation process. Treat every sale or leasing, listing opportunity with direct focus and investigation. Look into the key elements of the property and the client so that you come to the presentation with real and relevant ideas that will help facilitate property decisions. The decisions that need to be made to solve the challenge that the client has. I go back to the point that you cannot be generic in this approach. So number six, what are some tips to take you forward here? Well, when you look at the six different tips, there are certain recommendations I'll make in each particular case. Number one, ask the client some deeper questions that relate to the key issues of the property. Choose your questions wisely as they will show your level of skill and experience for the local market today. Number two, use a checklist relative to the property type and your location as it will help your level of focus and conversation. Good questions can easily support your professionalism and make you stand out as a top agent, a better agent than your competitors. Number three, meet the client at the property so you can move through it with a questioning process. The inspection strategy can then be discussed as you move around the property with the client that will show the client that you really understand how to do the right things to attract the levels of inquiry and the negotiations that they need. Number four, pose some questions to the client that show your competitors as being inexperienced or inappropriate for the property listing. Put some uncertainty into the mind of the client regards the competitors that are out there. Number five, do some homework about the property listing before you go to the client meeting. Get the details relating to prices, rents, inquiry, competing listings and time on market. Be prepared to show some visual material to support your message and your recommendations of marketing. Use graphs and figures that show the best way forward with the property today. You can use some Gantt charts for that and Gantt charts are easily constructed and are available from the internet for that process. Number six. The marketing process for property today should be well chosen and driven. Don't just structure a basic set of marketing recommendations for the property. Stand out as better than your competitors when it comes to the marketing solutions for the property type. Make your approach to marketing very special and put yourself into the activities recommended. 
let the client see how valuable you will be personally to spreading the message about the property and its availability to the tenants or the buyers that are out there. So let's go back to the beginning here. When you prepare for the listing meeting that you are to have with the client and you do so at an advanced level, you are likely to convert far more listings on an exclusive basis. That should be your target. Top agents are not generic, they are very specific. They provide valuable and unique marketing solutions in commercial real estate marketing to the clients that they serve. So that's the end of this topic. As I said to you earlier, you can certainly get a lot more free tips and ideas at commercial-realestate-training.com. Thanks for listening to this video today. This is John Highman from Commercial Real Estate Online, and you can catch us at the website. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time.